Hey y'all, so this evening Ryan and I are splitting up and he is gonna go on an adventure through the woods to go pick some pawpaws. Try to find some pawpaws, yes. Yeah, we're hoping they're ready. It's like the last day of August right now when we're filming this. I've heard from some other people in the area that they've been picking some. But Ryan's gonna go pick pawpaws and I'm gonna go pick some ground cherries to hopefully make a ground cherry chutney or jam of some sort. Ryan's gonna take you guys along with him and hopefully you don't run into any bears trying to get those pawpaws. So while Ryan's doing that, I'm gonna try to pick some ground cherries. My marigold plant is fully budding now. Looks really pretty. We are gonna look for some ground cherries. I see a bunch, so let's get to picking. We had a lot of volunteer ground cherries from last year that I kind of let self-seed themselves and they've kind of taken over the pathways. So hopefully we have a lot here to make our chutney. Some of them are a little past. All right, I am in search of some pawpaw trees and some pawpaws. Karen and I have been down here before and have found some pawpaws, so I'm headed to that approximate location where we found some before, and we'll see if we have some. So from what we've read and kind of seen, pawpaws generally like to be around water or wet areas. So we have a stream in the back of our property um, with a ravine that stays wet after storms, and so that's the area where we've seen pawpaws before. So I'm going to head that direction and see what we see. they just fall to the ground it's pretty easy to pick however some of these are a little too far gone and dried up on the inside I'm gonna worry about sorting most of them once I've collected them all I've got my bowl of ground cherries now I'm just gonna sit on the front porch and sort through them and also go ahead and remove all the paper husks I probably won't get to making the chutney until tomorrow but let's at least try to get them sorted here this evening. I wonder if Ryan has found any pawpaws. Losing light here quickly, but I was just looking and looking, couldn't quite find any pawpaws, and then I rubbed up against a tree, and I heard something hit the ground, and I think we found ourselves our first pawpaw. That's awfully small, so I'm hoping there are bigger ones, but they're supposed to be about potato size, so this, I believe, is a pawpaw tree. So far, most of the ones I've seen are very small. So let's head on down here toward closer to the creek. I think we'll find some more. I'm also looking on the ground because they will just fall out of the ground. Here's some pawpaws. You can see that. So that's a pawpaw tree. All right, it is getting dark. Um, I found a couple. I think we're a little early. They're really small. Um, but I'll show you my technique here. I think this is a pawpaw tree. Once you find a pawpaw tree, you just give it a good shake, protect your head, and then if there are any pawpaws that are ripe, they fall to the ground. So it's really just a matter of finding the trees and shaking them. Oh, that was a big one. I heard that. Eh, I say big, not that big. Most of them I'm finding. Oh, that one's good though. It's small, but it's it's squishy. I'm gonna keep doing this, see how many I get, and then head on back. I just went inside the house to grab a few more bowls to put the husks in one and the sorted ground cherries in the other. So I'm just gonna sit here on my porch swing and sort through some of these ground cherries. In case you've never, I've mentioned ground cherries several times on here before, but in case you've never done them, this is the part we want. Keep those and 
put the husks in another bowl to go back out into the compost. This one's a little green. I prefer them to be more yellow, but I'm still gonna keep that since we're just making a chutney. We're gonna add extra sugar to it. This one's more of the color that you want. You can see the difference between the two. Most of the pawpaws I was seeing were um, pretty small and pretty hard. So I was shaking the tree and several would fall, but they're all they're all pretty firm. So I think they're supposed to be a little little squishy, not squishy, but soft, um, not too firm. So maybe I'll come back in a week and see if I can find any that are ripe. Ryan just came back in. Do you have any luck? Uh, I found a couple. I think we're early. So they're all, they're kind of small and that one actually feels pretty good. That feels pretty but good. But a lot of them are hard like that. But yeah, I was walking basically all the way back where we found them originally. Yeah. I was walking along, I was like, well, I'm getting close. I haven't found any yet. And I like pushed through a tree, a small tree, and one kind of hit me in the shoulder and like fell onto the ground. I was like, oh, okay. I guess God's like, here we go. Yeah. I was just thinking, I was doubting a little bit that I was gonna be able to find them. I, I kind of forgot what they looked like. Yeah. But then bam. Well, see? at least we, we refound the trees. Yes, I know. I know where it is. I mean, yeah. I reaffirm where it is. Yeah. Reaffirm. That's that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, nice. We probably just need to like periodically check it so that the animals don't get them all. Yeah. There was a couple on the ground, but most of these was me shaking the tree and they fall. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. Here, let's cut open one. Pawpaws are native fruit to North America. Like a mango and a ban a banana had a baby. <laughs> Let me see if I can rip one open. Ah. That's what a pawpaw looks like. Let me grab a knife. So that's your pawpaw. They little seeds. Yeah, they do have really big seeds. Can I try it? It's just kind of like a mango. Oh, this is like a mango. That's yeah. pretty good. It's good. It's not like, not as much to it as mango. Well, it's more mellow, I think. Yeah. Like a banana and a mango. Is that a good description? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I said you didn't eat them. Anyway, so we had success. I Oh, I never showed you my ground cherries. Yeah. I sat on the front porch and I went ahead and shelled them. Nice. So I have about four cups here. So I'm going to try to make some jam or a chutney or something tomorrow cool. with these. So we both had success, I guess, this evening. Ryan found the pawpaws. Yeah. And now we at least know where the grove is. I mean, he got, a, he got quite a few here. He probably got... Well, a dozen. Yeah, if not more. Yeah, 15. So we'll probably go pick some more in a few weeks. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.